Insects are everywhere, from tiny ants to buzzing bees. But have you ever wondered how these amazing creatures breathe? It's not like us. Unlike humans and most vertebrates, insects don't possess lungs. This might sound impossible, but they've evolved a unique and efficient system. So if there are no lungs, how do oxygen molecules reach every cell in their tiny bodies? Prepare to discover a marvel of natural engineering. The secret lies in what's called the tracheal system. It's an intricate network of air-filled tubes running throughout the insect's entire body. Oxygen first enters through small external openings on the insect's body called spiracles. Think of them as tiny, controllable breathing pores. These spiracles can be opened or closed to regulate airflow and prevent water loss, crucial for survival in diverse environments. From the spiracles, air flows into larger tubes called tracheae. These main tubes branch out, becoming progressively smaller as they penetrate deeper. The smallest, most delicate branches are called tracheoles. These microscopic tubes extend directly to individual cells and tissues, delivering oxygen. This direct delivery system means oxygen doesn't need to be transported by blood, unlike invertebrates. It's a highly efficient, localized process. Gas exchange primarily occurs through diffusion. Oxygen simply diffuses from the tracheoles into the cells, following concentration gradients. Similarly, carbon dioxide, a waste product of cellular respiration, diffuses from the cells back into the tracheoles and out through the spiracles. While diffusion is key, larger or more active insects can also use muscle contractions to pump air, actively ventilating their tracheal system. This unique breathing method is incredibly efficient for small organisms. It allows for rapid oxygen supply to active muscles during flight or movement. However, the tracheal system's reliance on diffusion limits insect size. Oxygen cannot efficiently reach very large internal volumes this way. It's a brilliant evolutionary solution, perfectly adapted for their small scale and high metabolic demands, a testament to nature's diversity. So, next time you see an insect, remember its amazing lungless breathing system, a tiny wonder perfectly designed for its world.